Hey guys, Bellingo Duelist here and today it is finally time for my updated trading and selling binder for 2023. I have plenty of interesting stuff to check out for you guys and if you don't have that much time to watch a complete video, you can also check the description box below because there is a link to my Google Drive where I created multiple tables with my whole inventory. Let's go. All right, guys, let's start with the binder update here. This is the first binder out of two, and this is basically my ultimate rare binder. And yeah, it is called ultimate rare binder for a reason, because there's mostly ultimate rares, but we are starting with a couple of other cards here. These are the G4 God cards here. And as you can see, I have uh, three complete rows in different conditions, a Nierman plus set, a Nierman set, and a Nierman minus set. Let's maybe check how the condition of the Nierman Plus Lifer here is. And as you can see guys, these cards are very, very clean. If I say Nierman Plus, the cards are extraordinary quality as you can see here. So you can technically grade these cards and expect pretty decent grades. Of course, I'm not guaranteeing like PSA 10, but um, I'm pretty sure that my grading is pretty strict, pretty harsh, and you don't have to worry about yeah, what kind of condition you're getting. Um, it's not like TCG player or card market here in Europe. Uh, my conditions are way better than that. Yeah, this is a Nierman copy here just for example. I can't tell you why this is exactly Nierman. Maybe it has a couple of scratches anywhere. Um, it's pretty hard to see here. But um, yeah, there is a difference in quality between uh, Nierman Plus and Nierman obviously. And Nierman Minus to make it complete here guys. Um, might have a little scratch here and there. But all in all, still a very clean card. So I would say, yeah, there, there's a scratch on the back here, as you can maybe see. They're right in the middle here, over there. Uh, but that's about it. Maybe a little widening. But that's for the uh, grading of myself. And don't worry, I'm not going to do that with every single card. I'm more like here to show you what else I got in store. And yeah, we have some more uh, God cards here. These are obviously not a set yet because the obelisk is missing here. We have a G6 uh, Dark Magician Toon Girl, very old card here, the very first printing of her. These are all literally Game Boy promos despite of the row here on the bottom. These are the ultimate rares. And maybe a quick comparison here because this is really cool. Uh, the secret rare from the Game Boy promos here has different cards in the exchange artwork than the ultimate rare from Duelist Legacy 2. Alright. And yeah, this is how I'm going to continue with this whole binder here. There will be another binder. I might do a separate video for that because yeah, the longer the video, the harder it gets for you guys to check out. And yeah, basically all ultimate rares from now on, I guess, mostly. So yeah, let's check out these cards here. So these are all ultimate rares. These are the dual monsters ultimate rares, which are exclusive to the Japanese OCG. And yeah, beautiful cards, astonishing cards. You can't go wrong with these. And you can see the different conditions on the on the labels here and the different prices. And you can decide for yourself if the price is good enough for you or if it's more like a pass. But uh, nevertheless, you can get an inspired by my selling binder here. And you can just enjoy having a look at these awesome cards here, guys. Uh, especially this uh, BLS, for example. I mean, this is just a crazy card. Ultimate Rare Black Luster Soldier. What else is there to say, right? I mean, all these dual monsters, ultimate rares, they are so nice. I mean, I can't show you all of them. I technically did already a video about all the ultimate rares where I'm showing all of these with beauty shots as well. So if you're into that, um, I will link the video here for you guys in the information box and you can check it out and come back to this video here. And as you can see, there's already quite a few of uh, blanks as well. These were filled at one point, but um, yeah, while I was gathering or making this binder for sale, there was already people buying stuff off from me. And yeah, if you're curious how they reached out to me before the video actually came out, um, I have a WhatsApp community group. It's mostly for German people, but there is some internationals in there as well. So if you're interested in that, you can uh, just message me on Instagram. And Instagram is literally the second uh, channel where you can reach out to me to be able to purchase cards to talk to me whatever you want to do and if there's cards um, i don't have in my binder for example the very expensive ones the blue eyes white dragon sm51 or the red eyes um, i don't have these in store 
and I won't get them just for having them in store because these are very expensive. These are four figure cards. And yeah, for me, it's uh, not that easy to buy these and just wait for someone to buy these off of me. So these will be just cards I will uh, buy if you order them through me, then I will uh, basically buy them in Japan for you guys in my card hunts or I will order them somewhere. But um, nevertheless, uh, these very expensive cards, I'm not, um, yeah, I don't have these in store as you can see. Uh, let's have a look at this beautiful Dark Magician here from Legacy of Nightmare. Uh, near mint plus condition, so this one I'm very confident that this will be at least a PSA 9. It has a chance of a PSA 10. As you can see, really clean card here. And this is how it goes for my binders, for my binder cards here and the conditions. And yeah, now we can just go through them. I will talk a little bit about uh, some cards. Maybe some cards are not that yeah well known. For example, this Dark Magician Girl here. This is a Dark Magician Girl from the Dungeon Dice uh, game, Game Boy game, yeah. And look at the back here, it's a very different bag and it's basically the only full arts Konami ever released. And yeah, these are very cool. I will quickly show you the Game Boy game. And this is how the Game Boy game look guys, Dungeon Dice Monsters. And here there was a little silver pack or bag, whatever you want to call it, and there uh, you were able to get three copies and uh, three different copies obviously and there, this one is a secret rare as you have seen there's also an ultimate rare version and if you get the second printing of the game basically unlimited which was short printed you were also able to get the super rare versions of these game Boy promos and actually the super rare uh, promos are more limited than the first edition runs therefore the super rares are the most expensive for these full art dark magician girls really cool cards i like these and as you can see we are now moving on with gx these cards here uh, are ocg exclusive despite of the uriah here and um, these are for example vampire genesis or the red eyes uh, yeah black dragon i don't know uh, darkness dragon i guess is his name a really cool card as you can see i can not really uh, show you the relief at its full potential here but uh, you get the point these are OCG exclusives and now we are moving on to the GX era here guys and obviously these cards you can also get in TCG or yeah basically TCG right there's no differentiation between EU or US is all TCG and yeah these are my prices for the GX cover cards here basically um, I think they are a little cheaper than the TCG counterparts so it might be still interesting for you to check these out we also have the uh, Rainbow Dragon Ultimate Rare here, as you can see here on the right corner here right now. Really cool. And yeah, let's move on to the next page here. For you, well, I'm not ent entirely sure if there is uh, counterparts for us in the TCG. I think the regular Ubel doesn't have the Ultimate Rare. Maybe this one also doesn't, but we have the uh, middle part, right? We have the middle part in the TCG. And yeah, more cards here. And let's move on with this page here. And obviously, for example, this card here is uh, uncensored in the OCG. As you can see, the harpies are yeah, a little bit lighter, lightly closed here on this one. But despite of that, uh, the same cards here. And now we are moving on to the heroes, as you can see. Let's say check out the flame wingman. As you can see, it doesn't have the circles uh, as it has in the TCG. But um, yeah, the OCG variants, the reliefs can be very different, but um, that's what makes them also very cool, right? Let's have a look at the Shining Flare Wingman here, or Shining Phoenix Enforcer, sorry. And this is how the relief looks here in the OCG. So really, really nice relief here for this card. All right, and this is everything basically I have for sale and for trade um, for all the people who are new to the channel. Um, I'm a seller from Germany basically and currently um, in 2023 I'm also only able to sell uh, in Germany due to some yeah, taxation issues I like to call it. Technically I'm legal to yeah, get money from outside of Germany but it makes it very complicated for uh, the, the accounting and since all these restrictions will be lifted next year anyways I'm not uh, willing to yeah, put too much effort and time into yeah, resolving that issue. So uh, I'm only taking trades from outside of Germany and if you are from Germany actually I can basically sell you everything very very easily. Here we have some uh, ghost dress as well on the left corner here. Um, not sure if you can see it 
that good. For example, I have a beautiful rainbow dragon here. There it goes. Right? And what probably is OCG exclusive, Japanese exclusive, is these duelist pack cards here. Ghost Rares, where it is, there it is, guys. The blue, blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon here in Ghost Rares is an absolutely crazy card. It's not that expensive, even. So, very recommended Ultimate Red to pick up. And we are now moving on to 5Ds, guys. And yeah, maybe let's have a look at the most iconic 5Ds cards real quick here. Uh, which is the Black Rose Dragon, the Stardust Dragon, and the, yeah, I don't know his name because his name is so different in Japanese. Uh, Japanese name is Reto Demon to Dragon, so the Red Demon's Dragon basically. But in the TCG, I think it's Ar some Archfiend, Red Demon Dragon Archfiend, something like that. I don't know. It is what it is. Um, too many names. It's even worse with Pokemon. <laughs> I know German uh, Pokemon card names, uh, English and Japanese ones. And there we go, we are at the end of the binder. These pages uh, I will fill eventually with something else. And yeah, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a, s a separate video, but if I do, um, there will be a link at the end of the video where you can just click on and get to the next video. And despite of my binders, you can have a look at all these. I've made uh, pictures of all these pages. Uh, on my uh, Google Drive and the link is in the description box below. You can check it out there and Yeah See you in the next video in the next binder video very soon guys. You're bilingual duelist. Ciao